now to finish assembling the lower level of the chassis I will go ahead and will mount the line tracking sensor at front of the chassis for this we will need the line tracking sensor the back of spacers, bolts and nuts labeled for line tracking the hexagonal tool I will use scissors to open this back though you can also directly tear it I prefer to do a nice clean cut and I just have prepared in case I need it some players we'll start by opening the back containing the line tracking sensors as I mentioned earlier in this version of the robot kit instead of three separated line tracking sensors there is only one board which uses a single connector to connect to the sensor shield and it uses a single potentiometer to control the sensitivity of the three sensors at the same time which would make it both easier to assemble, connect and adjust when we adjust the robot for sensitivity on the line tracking next I will open the back with spacers, bolts and nuts and I will get them out of the back we'll start by taking one of the spacers standoffs and insert it in such a way oh by the way let's take a look at the sensor board first seems to be nice designed by Elego and quite well made we'll see how it behaves when we connect it take the spacer standoff insert it from the back side of the board toward the front put a nut and tighten the tube here is one of the very few places where you may need to use players to tighten not sure if it is necessary but definitely you may consider repeat the same step with the other spacers in the four corners of the sensor board again compared to the previous version of the robot here we need to mount only four spacers instead of six the sensor board is ready to be mounted now we can turn over the chassis and place the board at front of the robot in such a way that this connector points toward this opening in the chassis this is where the cable will go from the three line tracking sensors toward the sensor board on the upper layer there are holes in the chassis insert a bolt through one of them and place the spacer underneath the next bolt let's go diagonal as it is usually recommended the 
dot uh, tight so we can adjust the rest if needed the fourth one I mean the third one and the fourth one the line tracking sensor is fully assembled and mounted in place We can use the pliers to tighten the nuts. This is actually the entire lower, lower level of the chassis, fully assembled. We only will need to connect few cables, but I will do that close to the end, just before I join the two layers of the chassis together, and we will need to mount the floor wheels on the motors before I forget I will use the opportunity to tighten all of the bolts in place If necessary to adjust some of the wheels or something at a later point, we can always loosen a little bit those bolts on the bottom and adjust the angle of the wheel. Other than that, this layer of the chassis should be completely assembled and ready to use. Now it's time to go to the upper level of the robot.